Welcome back to Switzer. History has shown me that the Telstra Small Business Award winners are often operations worth having a real good look at. Scott Bucock is the CEO of Heggs, which has been created out of an innovation of the humble pig. Thanks for joining us, Scott. Thanks very much for having me. All right, so we're talking about a heg rather than a pig. That's correct. And, and they're, they're on, we've got them on the screen here yep. right Don't now. Have right a look, here. here they are, here are unusual pegs. Uh, and there's a hook on the outside, right? That's correct, yeah. Now, now tell us the cocktail dress story that's related to that. Sure, it was about uh, close to three years ago now, and I was putting out the washing, yeah. and I picked up a black cocktail dress of my wife's, yeah. and I thought to myself, how am I going to hang this up without any line marks? Sounds like a typical question. Marks, guys, uh, yeah. your, your usual questions. Yeah. And I looked up on the line, and there was a peg, and I thought if I put a couple of hooks on that, yeah. I could hook it up by the straps. Yeah. So, so, why does a bloke like you? you know, I met you many years ago when <laughs> you were running a hotel. That's or, right, uh, in Alice uh, Springs. Yeah, yeah. but what, why, why, do you, why do you think like that? Like, where did the hook thing come from? Yeah. Most of us, we would never have thought of that. Yeah, it's funny you say that, actually. It's like thinking like an innovator. You're scared in a way. of your like, wife. Alice Springs, where we met, I actually put an ice skating rink in the middle of Alice Springs years ago. So okay, there you go. you're an but innovator. It is that. It is that. Okay. It's all about that. All right, so you, so how hard was it to put a hook on the outside of the peg? Yeah, well, it started by Google, and I jumped on, I saw, went to about 4,500 photos and noticed there wasn't a hook on a peg anywhere in the world. Yeah, okay. So then I moved to a patent lawyer, and I go to an industrial designer, and then got it out of my head and onto paper. Yeah. And then uh, before we know it, I had a prototype, and the prototype, unfortunately, was done in China uh, a while ago, and we couldn't actually do them here. Uh -huh. And now I can walk down the road at a local university, and I can get a 3D print, which is exciting. Yeah, okay. But uh, three years ago, I had a prototype, and I walked into a local supermarket chain Drake supermarkets yeah. and said here's an idea doesn't exist anywhere in the world yeah. would you like it and I walked out of there with a handshake in 55 supermarkets okay and now and what now you're in 18 countries yeah we're actually exporting to um, 12 countries and over nearly about 18 now right. and we actually have distribution agreements uh, in six continents are, are you making 53 million a year we have a target by the end of 2016 to make uh, 53 million a year how many are you making right now we're making about 3 million Okay. Yeah, so that's good. Million. We're on the move. We're yeah. moving in the right direction. And then the thing is this, you, you've got to get through the market. I never heard of this until today. I know, yeah. And it's terrific yeah. that you've actually got this here. Yeah. Well, um, and, and, and you won the Telstra Business of the Year Award in we, South Australia. We did, and now we're up for the South, uh, the Australian, the Telstra Australian Business And the, of the Telstra Colours, how clever is that? Oh, yeah, that's right. You've yeah, got to win. Excited. It's amazing. <laughs> Look, and the story, is, uh, the story for us is really important. We actually started manufacturing in China. Yeah. And in January this year, we brought all our manufacturing back from China. Yeah. How come? Why? Well, a few different reasons. We can actually do it cheaper here in okay. Australia. Yeah. And what we did was we broke down that packet and we do the hag, the spring, the bag, the box, and we broke it all down mm -hmm. and added all the interest we would pay of um, uh, Heg sitting on a boat for 45 days coming from China. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have to order three times as much and yeah. wait for it to come across in the shipping and container. And the exchange rate, in a sense, the exchange made... exchange rate is fantastic. Because the, the yuan's high and, and the dollar's at low. That's yeah. right, and I was very excited to hear Frank's comment that it might go down to 70 cents. Yeah. Uh, that would help us a lot. Yeah also helping you in your export markets when you say we can sell you these they're only better than what you've got they're pretty cheap too that's correct and it's quality made and that's the reason for it it's Australian built and Australian quality we injected some UV in them to make them last longer um, they're uh, solid hate the peg that cracks on, on you yeah. that's the uh, yeah I yeah. used to hit the bucket to fall down you spend the next 10 minutes cleaning up cracked pegs so they, they, yeah. they, 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 we got over that we yeah. don't do them anymore yeah. and also feature wise you know it, the patented dual hook design is what it's all about yeah. so we actually have that patented around the world yeah. Aussie innovation yeah. That's actually going to be exported. So you, you said it's for cocktail dresses, but obviously it wasn't work for, for bras. Well, well, business pants where your belts go through the loops, yeah. uh, shorts, singlets. Um, yeah, the list goes on. And, 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 and part of the reason you don't, you're trying to get rid of the, the, the mark. That's correct. The line marks, the peg marks, and the sun marks. Yeah. The other thing is it's ending up in bloke sheds because of the uh, the hooks. It's ending up in kindergartens, ending up art, pantries, yeah. you name it, it's going Yeah, the, the diversification Very uh, much so. capabilities are quite short. But for us, we actually use nine manufacturing companies in South Australia. And we yeah. employ over 50 people indirectly and directly to make this heg. That's terrific. Here in Australia. Mm. And it's assembled with the RANA Disability Services, and then we export them to the world. So we have four plans. So it's very exciting for us. Yeah, most and to, definitely. You know, and to win the Telstra Business Award, I mean, what an amazing uh, journey. And we also, last year, won the uh, International Good Design Award. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's an Australian award. No, it's an it's a International Good Design Award, yeah. and we're up against the uh, national in the homewares and objects category. Yeah. And we uh, won that as well, which was uh, which was. Okay. Great. Have you been helped by Australia? 
Um, we have internationally, uh, yeah. probably not as much as what we'd like, yeah. but uh, we're working. We try and change that. That's right. We're working with them currently. Yeah. You know, in manufacturing. We, we should get Bruce Bilson representing you. Yeah. He'd be asking the question: How come Australia isn't helping a great uh, innovation like this? Yeah, I know. And you know, it, it, that's the point. I think thinking if we can employ over 50 people with such a small item, 53 million. We've got nine companies uh, in Australia helping. Uh, you know, the idea is if we can have 100 of us, small yeah. operators. Sometimes we put all our eggs in one basket, and the government give a lot of money to these big organisations. But I believe the future of manufacturing yep. is in smaller increments. So, what were you doing when you were putting put the, the clothes on the line? Because I used to be in hotels. Yes. What were you back in Adelaide? Yes. So, what were you doing then? Yeah, I am an agent actually for uh, keynote speakers and entertainers and yeah. celebrities, and I just happened to be in the backyard yeah. putting this up, and and the idea came to me, and yeah. and that was where uh, yeah, everything started from there. And what's happened since is we get about four innovations entrepreneurs and inventors come to us a week yeah. and they're saying how did you do it yeah. where did you go and, 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 and you're, you're doing something around innovation now aren't you yeah correct yeah so we've actually created a brand called Aussie Innovators yeah. to help them mentor them show is there them. a website uh, there is yeah, yeah AussieInnovator.com and it'll go to we're going to launch it fully in about a month's time okay and the idea behind that is there's a hundred incub incubators there's uh, government grant systems there's all these systems in place yeah. to be able to get product made but what happens is when it goes to sell it Distribute it and get it around the world. It all falls. All too hard. Now we're out of time, mate. No problem. And finally, is it hegs.com.au? Hegs.com. Hegs.com or hegs.com.au. Great Either stuff. Thank well you. done, mate. So a, a great Aussie Appreciate invention it. and a very impressive yeah, an Australian. That's the show for the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow night.